green crime would be crimes against the environment or crimes that have uh, an impact on the environment. Uh, so in a narrow definition, green crime would be pollution uh, or similar harms to the environment that are actually prescribed by the law. Uh, but in a broader sense, uh, green criminologists would consider acts that are harmful to the environment but aren't necessarily illegal. Green crime would differ from most types of crime in the sense that most types of crime would be concerned with interactions between people, whereas green crimes are more concerned with interactions between people and the environment. So green criminology would be the, the study of environmental harms from a criminological perspective. So within a narrow sense, it would be those environmental harms that are labelled as crime, obviously come under the remit of criminology. But more broadly, criminology has also tried to get involved in questions of what should be considered crime. So green criminology would look at whether the criminal law is the best way to respond to environmental harm and what the options might be. Another aspect of green criminology would be using criminological techniques as a response to environmental harm. So a key part of traditional criminology would be crime prevention but we realise we can use the same techniques that we use in crime prevention in preventing environmental harms. 